and welcome all of you. Nice to see you. All right, Mary, I'll just share my uh, little Buddha. There she is. All right. So just settle into a comfortable position, <clears throat> upright, unless you're ill. And you know then, of course, it's always okay to lie down. So if you are sitting on a, a chair, uh, feet about a hips width apart, sitting on your sits bones, the shoulders aligned with the hips. And uh, if you are sitting in your regular cross-legged position, same, except your legs are under underneath you. Imagine your spine is lengthening. It's a string of pearls of light stretching from the base all the way up through the crown of the head and beyond. You can imagine your ears coming in line with your shoulders. If this is available to you. And then just relax. Try and stay in this nice aligned position. And as much as you can during the day, just remember, remind yourself to sort of, st actually there's a note on my chiropractor's desk, stand tall. And it really is about allowing the energy and the blood and the oxygen and everything to flow through the body a little bit more easily. And the more hunched over we are, the more time we spend on our phones looking down, um, the rounder we're going to get, the, the weaker the muscles in the front of the body and the front of the neck will get. And there is some evidence of, of, of a connection between you know, the head falling forward and cognitive de decline. So it's really within our interests uh, for some of us who are older just to try and keep upright for as long as we can. Just go to the crown of their head now and relax the scalp, the forehead, the eyes, the nose, the cheeks, the mouth, the back of the head the jaw, the back of the tongue, the temples, back of the neck, and allow your shoulders and shoulder blades to drop down, relax the throat, and the chest and the belly and all of your limbs. And bring the mind to the breath, just noticing the sensation of the air as you're inhaling and exhaling. Notice if there are any sounds in your environment. It's quite a bit darker here now in the mornings. So it's quite still. But for some of you, it's already morning, well into your morning. So things are moving about, traffic, people, birds, animals, pets. So just allow all those sounds to be there. And then notice what's going on in your mind this morning. Maybe you have things to do after. Maybe you haven't eaten breakfast yet. Maybe you have an appointment that's of concern to you or nervous about. And just observe. Just allow the thoughts to arise. You can look at them without judgment, without fear. And just be aware of what's going on in the mind. And then bring to mind all the people of our, of, of our life our loved ones, our beloveds. 
those people who we find a little bit more difficult and then are strangers and imagine they can all they can all change place at any time due to impermanence. And remember they're all equal. They all have this wish to be happy, this wish to be free from suffering and having this extraordinary capacity for Buddhahood. So if you wish to take a glimpse of uh, Tara here, you can imagine Tara in the space in front of you, except not a gold um, metal Buddha, a light body, a green light body, very, very beautiful, sitting on a multicolored lotus. Her left foot is drawn in, <clears throat> you know, just like when you're meditating, when you're in a meditation position half lotus, and the right foot is resting out on its own little multicolored lotus. And this left foot being drawn in indicates her complete and effortless control over her desire energy, and her right foot out indicates her willingness and her capacity to get up and act for sentient beings. So she's right there ready to get moving. And often she's referred to as a wish-fulfilling Buddha, and she represents the quick capacity represented here as female to cut through obstacles, to get things done, to be successful, and of course to make us all blissful. So imagine Tara is very, very beautiful. And your idea of beauty, not, not necessarily what society thinks beautiful is, your idea of beauty maybe young and radiant and full of energy and full of bliss and she's wearing this colored silken garments jewelry on her ears her ankles around her neck on her arms maybe even her toes she also has that five-pointed crown embedded with jewels and you can also imagine this is the manifestation of your teacher's mind appearing as green tara for your benefit. To the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, I go for refuge until I'm enlightened by this practice of meditating on Guru Tara. May I reach Buddhahood so as to benefit all sentient beings. So now we'll just imagine one, one chakra at a time, light coming, purifying and blessing. So we start with the body, and imagine Lama Tara sends powerful, blissful white light from the Om at her brow chakra. And this enters your brow and completely fills you. And imagine that all the problems and sufferings and heaviness of the body are purified by this light and all the harm ever done to any living being with this body and all infinite past bodies is also purified, eradicated completely, not one atom left as we recite the mantra. Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re 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 Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re
Now imagine the light coming again. Except imagine you've become a blissful light body, just like Tara's body, indestructible. And just like it will be when you attain the deity's body, the Sambhavakaya. And imagine it's not possible to ever harm others with this body, only to benefit them. Om tare tu tare tu re so <coughs> Excuse me. Om tare tu tare tu re so 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 Now imagine for our speech, Tara sends red light from the R at her throat chakra to your throat. And this purifies all the problems of your speech, inappropriate speech, useless speech, uncontrolled speech, angry criticism, the ability, inability to uh, express ourselves appropriately and all the harm you've ever done to any living being with the speech of this life and in infinite past lives is also totally purified, eradicated by the blissful red light, not one atom left. Om tare tu tare tu re so 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 Om tare tu tare tu re so
And now the red light comes again, and this time imagine that you are totally full of the blissful, perfect, compassionate wisdom, appropriate speech of Lama Tara. And that whatever sound you utter is necessarily beneficial to any living being who hears it. And all of this is your potential and feel really full of this powerful energy. Om tare tu tare tu re soham 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 Om tare tu tare tu re Now imagine Lama Tara sending powerful beams of blue light, blue like the sky. And this is coming from the hum at her heart chakra, and this enters your heart. And imagine all the unhappiness of mind, confusion, arrogance, anger, jealousy, pride, resentment, hurt, anxiety, self-hate, all of this completely purified and all your delusions, including the root ego grasping, which is the cause of all of our own suffering and of why we harm others. Imagine this is totally eradicated by this powerful blue light. Not one atom left. Om tare tu tare tu re so Om tare tu tare tu re soham 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 Om tare tu tare tu re soham
Now imagine the blue light coming again. And this time feel full of the blissful, omniscient, compassionate mind of Lama Tara. And imagine all of this. This is my potential. This is who I really am. Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Soham 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 Now imagine the three lights coming from Namatara's three chakras. The brow, the throat, the heart. <clears throat> Simultaneously, and they just kind of like enter your three places. Penetrate. And this time feeling that even the subtlest stains of all delusion are completely eradicated. Not one atom left. And feel really blissful. And we'll stay in this, <clears throat> excuse me, blissful state, concentrating on being oneness with the energy of Mother Tara. Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Soham. 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 Now imagine Lama Tara's lotus dissolving upwards into her body. And she comes to sit above the crown of your head facing the same way as you. a couple of inches above. Imagine this light, green light body of the crown of your head. And she has this wish to become one with your mind. Imagine this is also the mind of your teacher. And she just dissolves into a green light and just kind of melts into you through your crown and merges with your body, your speech and your mind. And think, I am one with Lama Tara's body, speech, and mind, and feel blissful. Now think now that I am Tara, I must lead all these beings to enlightenment. 
my friends, my enemies, my strangers. So imagine in front your enemies, eyeball to eyeball. In front, to the left, your friends, and to the right, and everywhere else, all the rest of sentient beings, the strangers, above, below, left, right, behind, in front, pervading all of space, and think they're all the same, they all want happiness, they don't want suffering, and try and imagine even the enemies, they have Buddha nature. And if you don't have any personal enemies, you can imagine some of those, perhaps some of the politicians we read about who are doing extraordinarily outrageous, um, somewhat illegal things. And imagine that they too, somewhere, they have Buddha nature. So imagine that all the, from your heart, millions and millions of tiny green Taras emanate And they enter the friends, the enemies and the strangers, and they take away all of their suffering, give them everything they need, their health, their wealth, good luck, merit, and transform them into their own Tara. And imagine this, really want this, as we recite the mantra again. Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Soham Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Soham Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Soham Om Tare Tu tare tu re soham. Om tare tu tare tu re soham. Om tare tu tare tu re soham. Imagine all these transformed Taras absorbing into you, enhancing your own Tara nature. Let's just dedicate all the merit, all the positive energy you've created by doing this purification to all living beings. And especially to our Tooth people this morning, all the very best at the dentist. I'm sure you'll be fine. <clears throat> they will take care of you. So lots of love, and I wish you well, and I'll see some of you this evening. And thank you so much for hosting, Mary. Okay, bye-bye, everybody. Thank you.